Well, folks, it seems that Star Wars isn't learning what made it special in the first place, and that was simply people talking about the world of Star Wars and the adventures that were within it, as well as the rich lore that comes along with the Star Wars universe. But it seems that Lucasfilm hasn't learned and is now implementing a drag panel in Europe's 2023 Star Wars celebrations. And this is worrying because you're going to have children attend the event and see things that shouldn't be seen at that age. But of course, all is forgiven when you have Lucasfilm continuing to focus on gender identity politics and focusing on things like this that the vast majority of fans can't relate to. And this is why there are drag shows in the first place. But then again, we continue to see companies implement things like these into their IPs that aren't relevant in the first place. And it's only to continue on pandering towards these types of individuals. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd much appreciate it. Anyways, we have here essentially that gay Jedi making a statement of his upcoming panel at Star Wars Celebrations as it goes along this. The long and rich history of drag has graced the world with entertainment, culture, political action, and so much more. It is no wonder, then, that today the art form has reached such a cultural significance that the truths and concepts of drag performance permeate countless aspects of our daily lives, including Star Wars. Yes, drag has graced the world in culture and entertainment, right? Especially when we have a drag queen here that performs actions in front of kids that shouldn't be performed in the first place. In this case, we have this individual right here flash her underwear when having kids present in the room. I'm sorry, but this doesn't permeate in countless aspects of many people's lives. And we have the adults here just laughing, and then when she actually does the event, they're shocked. Because you have a kid right here that shouldn't be witnessing this. But then again, it is all fine and dandy. Because no one's going to be covering that type of stuff. And it continues on. Some of Star Wars' very best characters embody various core principles of drag. Whether it's Din Djarin, drag as personal expression and self-discovery. Asaji Ventress, drag as queer rebellion. Or Padme Amidala, drag as self-empowerment. The relevance of drag even spills out the pages and screens of Star Wars. And flows through the fandom itself through hobbies like cosplay. This is all absolute nonsense. And it is why... We are seeing Star Wars die. No one is talking about the new Bad Batch Season 2 or even Andor, which is an amazing show. It's because Lucasfilm continues to damage and tarnish the Star Wars brand. And we're also seeing this with Marvel with them just producing so much quantity rather than quality. People are starting to get sick and tired of Star Wars and Marvel. And it continues on, while taking an introductory look at the history and function of drag in our world today, let's also explore its thematic resonance and influential presence in everyone's favorite far, far away galaxy. And of course, all this is coming from that gay Jedi. Man, if someone had a name that said like that white Jedi or that straight Jedi, I promise you he would probably face backlash for it. <laughs> I am humbled, grateful, and over the force moons to announce that my Star Wars celebration panel with pencil scratching, and of course all these people have pretty big resumes, and Jigrani, whoever that is, titled Star Wars is a drag, exploring Star Wars through the art of drag, has been officially approved. We can't wait to share this with you all. And of course it has been uh, approved when you have the official Star Wars account right here, 6.2 million followers, replied to this tweet, saying that they can't wait to see it. And this is why the Star Wars brand continues to fail, because Lucasfilm and Star Wars in general don't know what made their IP and franchise successful in the first place. Anyways, I think you guys' thoughts on this. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.